Malaysia's Anti-Corruption Commission has released phone recordings of former Prime Minister Najib Razak. He's heard allegedly speaking with individuals from the United Arab Emirates about State Fund 1MDB. Authorities say the recordings show a clear case of abuse of power. Mr. Najib is already facing dozens of criminal charges over the scandal. Melissa Goh tells us more. The secret recordings of phone conversations that happened in year 2016 came from an anonymous source. Now, MACC chief Latifa Koya said she received them right after New Year. Now, all in, nine clips were played before the media for the first time. Now, in one of them, ex-Prime Minister Najib Raza sounded rather desperate as he reached out to Crown Prince of UAE to help his stepson, Riza Aziz, who's embroiled in the 1MDB scandal. Now, funds from the state fund was said to have been used to finance his movie productions, including The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, uh, personal uh, request, Your Highness. Uh, yes, that relates to Lisa, you know, my son. Yes, and his movie. You see, if, um, the problem is relatively small. If there can be a, an agreement with uh, Shea Mansour to I have a loan agreement signed, and he will pay back according to the schedule. And that will show that it's a legitimate, uh, um, what they call financing package. It's not money laundering, you see. Now, while it's unclear whether the Crown Prince agreed to Najib's request, His Highness expressed grave concerns following the damning revelations by U.S. Department of Justice. Thank you, thank you, Your This is very bad. This is very serious. It could lead to something very, very un, un, unforeseen and catastrophic uh, for me, for our government, and also for, your, for you on your side. Now, according to DOJ, Abu Dhabi Wealth Fund, IPIC, and its subsidiary, ABA Investment, were involved in an elaborate scheme to defraud hundreds of millions from Malaysian taxpayers. Now, its top officials were reportedly convicted and sentenced to jail. Now, in another conversation, Najib was heard being reprimanded by his wife, Rosma Manso, who sounded upset with her husband for failing to control the situation. Can I advise you something? Now, when met outside courtroom on Wednesday, Rosma did not comment, while Najib said he's shocked by the revelations and questioned the timing of it all. So close to a by-election in Sabah, middle of this month. Saya sedang mengkaji konten tu uh, dan uh, saya dah refer perkara ini kepada peguam saya. Uh, ini tak pernah dilakukan dalam sejarah negara kita dan timing ini pun dekat dalam masa kimanis by election. Now, MACC Chief Latifa Koya has insisted that it's a matter of public interest to expose the series of phone conversations which she believes were genuine. Various serious issues that arise including abuse of power, criminal conspiracy, obstruction of justice, compromising national security, fabrication of false evidence through foreign aid and connivance. Now, apart from officials from UAE, the phone conversations also exposed former MACC chief Zukifli Ahmad, Najib's aides, and former Attorney General's involvement in the cover-ups of one of the world's biggest financial scandal. Melissa Goh, CNA, Putrajaya.